Hey team, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle content and fashion content and for this week I'm joined by I'm Sarah Semo, I'm Tim's sister and we're doing another styling challenge but we decided to make it kind of harder so the theme this time is the Grammy Awards and so this time we decided that everyone is going to style themselves unlike the other video and we had a budget of around 300 bob and we ended up spending 250 you guys and you wouldn't even believe it yeah so what we're going to do we're going to divide this video into like three parts wait the other rule was that you had to shop at a thrift shop so like toy or gikomba one of them so as we went to toy so we're going to divide this video into like three parts so after this we're going to go get ready with her and then you get ready with me a little bit and then we're going to show you both our dresses Oh wait, spoiler. The dresses, and then after that we'll do like a final review. Yeah, so that's the video for this time. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go to the get ready with us. So first I must start by putting this hydro wheel so that my face doesn't look dry. So why did you choose this look? Um, Wait, what look are you going for? I'm going for this simple but chic. What does that entail? It does entail not being the most but looking bomb. So what are you going to do to your hair? I'm going to comb it like I'm going to undo this braid and this will be hanging in this now because my dress is it looks better with like straight hair not hair that's straight down. Okay. Are you going to use any foundation? Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. First I like using powder. I like keeping it simple. If the powder doesn't work. Then I'll add some foundation. I think I will. I mean, it's, I don't need to go the extra mile today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Wow, I'm shocked. My just now obsessed with foundation. Oh my goodness. God bless this giant in front of me because it's so much easier to do it. 
So I think we're just going to start with the eye makeup. I've already put my concealer and just to cancel out the darkness in my eyes to make it easier to do this. And then I'm going to go in with the darkest color, the darkest brown. So let's just do it. I don't know how this will turn out right. Okay. If it turns out ugly, please just forgive me. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I look like I've been punched. Like repeatedly, I look like I've been punched. Hey guys, this is my dress. It's a nice pink puppy dress that gives you all the princess vibes. I'm so happy about it. I'm so excited to wear it for you guys. So it has a few jewels on it. It has a nice pattern. It has like some leaves. It also has like a little train. So I'm going to have like a train moment in the back, which um, I'm just so excited, you guys. <laughs> you don't even know. Yeah, so that's it for my dress. I'm going to show you a closer look of it. This is also the final hair and makeup that I'm going to do. I just did like a sleek little bun and everything. I think I'll wear some earrings, obviously. I want to bring some Africanness to the pink puppy princess vibe. And yeah, we're going to do a final reveal, me and my sister. But first, me alone and then her alone. And then we tell you guys what were the challenges. Also, this dress was 250. I actually have the number of the lady who I bought it from. She's called Margaret or Mama Anita. So she has a lot of like this prom-esque dresses. Um, in case you're ever looking for one for whatever reason. And yeah, one of the challenges I went through, let me tell you guys. When we were shopping, I couldn't find a dress and it was getting dark and we were about to leave. And we found this um, Mama Anita's shop so late. Like it was literally like 6.45. And then that's when we found her shop. And yeah, she sells them for 250 so that's the tea. And what else? I think that was my only challenge. I was actually about to change this whole video idea and just do another one. But yeah, that was my only challenge. Toy thrifting is hard because you don't know if you're going to find what you're going to find. But thank God we did. <laughs> Yeah, 
and don't forget to follow and i'll see you guys in the next video bye tifa bye tifa so her what inspired this outfit <laughs> the boss babe i am so it's an inspiration it is for me kila mtu na zake Valentine